In this lesson, we're going to discuss the idea of what a rational function is, and we're also going to um, talk about the domain of these functions. So a rational function is basically a fraction. So a rational is going to be a fraction, um, something that can be written as a fraction. When we talk about a rational function, we are looking at something where our variable is in the denominator. And it can be a lot more complicated than that. We could have variables in the numerator, we can have variables in the denominator, but that one's the key. So that is where the rational part comes from. It's also where we have a domain issue. This potentially could create uh, potentially a domain issue. So let's talk about why that is. Um, there's also a very distinct look to the graph when you graph these types of things and how you go about solving them. Um, but for right now, we're just going to recognize, do we have a rational and what is the domain issue? So if you have something like this, we're going to be stating the domain. All right, so for the first one. is we're going to take that very first. And our domain is all of the x's that we can plug into an equation. So um, we, can, we want to know, can we plug in positive numbers? Can we plug in negative numbers? Can we plug in zeros, fractions, square roots, anything? That's what a domain is. What are the values that you can, can and cannot plug into this equation? So basically, we're looking at a 1 divided by something. Is there anything that we can't divide by? And yes, there's always something that you can't divide by, and you cannot divide by zero. So that is going to be our issue. You cannot divide by zero. All right, so for our domain, we want to make sure that all the numbers that we plug in don't cause us to be dividing by zero. So for what we have on this one, our x's that we can plug in are a set of x's such that x, as long as it does not equal 0, we are OK. Because if we plug in a 0, it's 1 divided by 0, and that's no good. So let's take a look at a couple different ones. So if we have a 5x divided by x minus 2, it's irrational because we have a variable in the denominator. Our domain is as the only issue that we're going to have is dividing by zero now zero this time is okay because zero minus two is not zero so we want to figure out what number actually makes the denominator zero and that value is going to be our issue so our x is such that x cannot equal two is the number that makes the denominator equal to zero and if you're not sure what it is and you can't quite see it because maybe the denominator is a little bit more complicated then really the math you're doing is taking the denominator and setting it equal to zero, find out what number that is, and that's what gets kicked out. That's the number that's going to make your denominator zero. So everything but two. We can plug in fractions, decimals, anything we want. Now the numerator can be zero. You can have zero divided by something, as long as it's not zero, and that's okay, because zero divided by anything is just zero. But the other way around is not okay. We cannot have something divided by zero. That's no good. Oops. All right, so let's do another one. So if we have of x equals x minus 3 over x plus 4, I'm going to abbreviate domain with just a d. So what number causes a problem here? And again, if you can't see it, We'll just take the denominator, set it equal to 0, and solve. We'll bump the 4 over. That's the number we got to kick out. So our domain are all of the x's such that x is not going to equal negative 4. All right, we'll do one more. And again, the numerator has nothing to do with the domain. So if we have... x squared minus 9 
divided by x squared minus 9x plus 14. We have a quadratic in the denominator, which means there's potential for two issues. So I'm going to need to solve that. So that quadratic, I don't want it to equal 0. So I'm going to set it equal to 0. And this one is factorable. So I'll factor it. x minus 7, x minus 2. What multiplies to 14, that adds to negative 9 negative 7 and negative 2. And if we set each factor equal to 0 and solve it, we'll find our solutions to this quadratic, but those solutions to the quadratic end up being the numbers that we can't use. So x cannot equal 7 and x cannot equal 2. So everything else is okay. Again, the numerator doesn't have anything to do with it. So our x's, we can plug in as long as x's are anything such that x does not equal 2 and x does not equal 7. All right, and that's a very brief introduction to um, rational functions and what their domains are.